Okay, the first thing I think of when I hear the word dwell on is that you're spending way too much time on something. You're obsessing over it for way too long. Something that people dwell on is if they study really hard for a test and they study so hard, but then in the end they get a really bad grade on the test, maybe they're going to dwell on that for a long time. They're going to be really sad, they're just going to be depressed, and they're just going to think about it for so long. They're dwelling on it. Um, usually dwelling on something is not a good thing, right? Another example I can think of is your girlfriend breaks up with you. Your girlfriend or your boyfriend breaks up with you and you're so sad and for months you're just crying in your room. You're dwelling on it for way too long. You need to get over it. The only expression off the top of my head, look back on, look back. Is there any difference between dwell on versus look back? The difference between dwelling on something and looking back on something when you're dwelling on something, it's not a good thing. You're spending too much time on something that you should just be able to move on from. When you look back on something, this is kind of more positive. You're looking back on some good memories. You're looking back on your time at school. You're looking back with like happy memories of those things. So dwelling on, the first thing I think of, it's a little bit more negative. Looking back on is more positive. Okay, great. Any final word? If you make a mistake when you're studying English, don't dwell on it. Just keep trying, keep working hard, and you guys will be speaking English great in no time. Look, look, English. 자, 오늘 표현 한번 알아보도록 하겠습니다. 오늘 표현은요, dwell on이라는 표현입니다. Dwell on 같은 경우는 바로 뭐냐면 과거에 집착하고 그거에 너무 신경을 써서 앞으로 못 나가는 경우를 생각해 보시면 될것 같습니다. 예를 들어서 제가 시험을 못 봤어요. 그렇죠? 자, 그래서 지금 계속해서 그게 걱정이 됩니다. 이미 결과는 나왔습니다. 그것을 dwell on 하면 어떤 의미가 있을까요? 저에게 도움이 안 되겠죠. 그래서 보통 don't dwell on the past라는 표현을 꽤 많이 사용합니다. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on the past. 그리고 하나 더 기억해야 될 것은 look back on이라는 표현이에요. Looking back on. 그래서 보통 look back on 같은 경우는 과거를 회상하는 거 맞는데요. 자, 아까 전에 dwell on이라는 게 과거에 안 좋은 기억을 계속해서 생각하는 거라면 룩백권 같은 경우는 일반적으로 과거의 어떠한 아름다운 추억을 생각하거나 그 기억들을 떠올리는 거 있죠. 그때 바로 룩백 오늘 사용한다고 합니다. Well, it can be hard not to dwell on the past. Well, it can be hard not to dwell on the past. Well, it can be hard not to dwell on the past. Well, it can be hard not to dwell on the past. Well, it can be hard not to dwell on the past. You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. What happens to our personal property after we die? No one likes to dwell on that thought. What happens to our personal property after we die? No one likes to dwell on that thought. What happens to our personal property after we die? No one likes to dwell on that thought. What happens to our personal property after we die? No one likes to dwell on that thought. What happens to our personal property after we die. No one likes to dwell on that thought. And the more that you dwell on the past and the things that you should have done, the less likely it is you're gonna take action and get the results that you want now. And the more that you dwell on the past and the things that you should have done, the less likely it is you're gonna take action and get the results that you want now. And the more that you dwell on the past and the things that you should have done, the less likely it is you're gonna take action and get the results that you want now. And the more that you dwell on the past and the things that you should have done, the less likely it is you're going to take action and get the results that you want now. And the more that you dwell on the past and the things that you should have done, the less likely it is you're going to take action and get the results that you want now. 자, 여러분들, 영어 공부할 때 괜히 실수한 거에 너무 어, 두배론 하지 마세요. 무본 해야 될거 아니에요? 앞으로 나아가야 되겠죠? 무본. 자, 그러면 우리 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 오늘의 표현, 두배론 꼭 기억하세요. See you guys next time. Bye bye.